Look, Henry! Phew! Just in time! Stop! Stop! Oh, touch the school gates, please! What do you mean you haven't got enough money, Henry? It's not my fault. Blame my horrid parents who never give me any pocket money. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to do now? For a pound. Stop moaning and push, will you? Left! Turn left! There it is! We should have enough to get a bus from there. Something else. But we agree, Polly Wally. We're all going to see Happy Hippos. I know, Polly Pops, but. And you know, Polly Pops likes Happy Hippos. So do I. Yes, but. And little Vera so wanted to see Happy Hippos with her daddy. Don't you, little diddle duckies? <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Happy hippos. Hooray! Oh, I'm so excited. Hold on, Roly Mo. Have you two boys been to the toilet? <laughs> yes. 
I went before we left home. How about you, Henry? I don't need to go. Oh, don't be a silly Billy. You'll only want to go in the middle of the film. Off you go. Oh. Henry! Hi, guys. Whoa. We've just seen the scariest film ever. Not Guzzle Monsters from Mars. Uh, I don't know. It's well scary. You don't want to see it, does he, Boot? Uh, I don't know. Yes, I do. But my Tony brother wants to see Happy Hippos. Happy Hippos? That's a baby film. You're going to see Happy Hippos. Ha <laughs> ha. I didn't say I'm going to see it. <laughs> I'd like some popcorn too. You've got to share, Henry. Come on, Henry. Share with your brother. Here you go, worm. Ticket. What? Henry, where's your ticket? In there. Oh, Henry, you silly boy. Oh, I don't believe this. <laughs> it must be somewhere. Here, you have this, Peter. Hey! Oh, thanks. And um, uh, get him another ticket. Uh, you two go in. All right, Polly, Polly, but don't be down. We're happy and we're clappy. We're the happy hippos. Coming. Yes. <laughs> so easy being me. I'm Henry. Oh, there you are, Ralph. Listen, I can't come tonight because... It's OK, Henry. I know all about it. Oh, OK, cool. But I won't let you down on the big day, I promise. Um, yeah, I know that. Henry, a word now, please. Hey, guys, meet your new lead singer. Who? Me! Band practice will be at my treehouse, six o'clock sharp. Make sure you're there on time. Oh, it's all right. Uh, I can explain. When I'm king, homework will be listening to music really loudly. Come on. Playing computer games. Hey, that looks like Ralph. No, oh, it can't be. Why would Ralph be sneaking into Margaret's treehouse? But I guess I'm not going to be king for a long time. So, I'm just going to have to get used to doing my homework. <sighs> I said, did a letter come for me today? No. Did a letter come for me today, Mum? No. Why? Still haven't written back to me. I only really wanted to 
know about the homework. You don't have to tell me about brushing your teeth if you don't want to. Yours disappointedly, Henry. <sighs> Who was your biggest fan? in three days' time. Do you think I don't know that? Uh, do you think we're going to be ready to perform? Of course we're going to be ready to perform. Otherwise, my name's not Margaret Millicent Mordius Smythe. Is it? No. Now, take five while I warm up. Again. La, 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 la. Hang on a minute. That looks like Henry's writing. Ed Banger, mean, horrible parents have to stay in every night to do my homework. I'm ready for my solo. I don't think so, Margaret Millicent Mordita Smythe. Time to pack up, boys. Hey? We're out of here. Got to post a letter for Henry. You what? to help you with your homework. Yeah, yeah, Keep yeah. on rocking. Yes. Yeah, I do have to brush my teeth. Otherwise, my mum nags me something rotten. <laughs> Even Ed Banger has to brush his teeth. <laughs> cool. It's so easy being me. I'm hard Now it's time to rise and shine. We've got a busy day ahead. What are you doing, Henry? Painting my toenails, worm. What does it look like I'm doing? Oh, you're sorting out your gizmos. I'm not sure you're allowed to do that. What do you mean? Mom! Henry's sorting out his gizmos. Oh, can you believe this? Come on, Henry. You know you're not supposed to be doing that. Doing what? I'm just sorting out my gizmos. Precisely. I'll be looking after these for a while. You can polish these instead. Where's Henry? He's in the kitchen, polishing spoons. Really? Hmm. I think he's quite enjoying it. I haven't heard a peep out of him for ages. Hmm. Well, he's going to enjoy this. Henry! Huh? Ah, there you are. How's the spoon polishing going? Uh, fine, Dad. Can I have some of my stuff back now? Not just yet, Henry. I've got something very special for you. Thanks, Dad. Can I just have my boom box back? No, Henry. Come on, then. Aren't you going to open it? Oh, right. I thought you said it was something really special. It is special. It's a special spinner. Right. Can I maybe just have my gizmos back? Henry! Just the golden gizmos, then? Henry! Oh, no, I've forgotten that Great Aunt Greta was coming round this afternoon. Oh, great! Yeah, great. Don't be horrid, Henry! What? How's the spoon polishing going, Henry? It's not. Now go away, smelly nappy baby. Ooh, that's a yo-yo. Yeah, I know that. Bet you can't get it to go. Yes, I can. Just watch me. <laughs> See? You can't get it to go. Yes, I can. It's just broken. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It isn't. It is. Peter, what a big boy you are now. And Henrietta. How very lovely to see you too. Oh, your spoon polishing. How exciting. I used to love doing that when I was a girl. Why don't you run along, Peter, and go and do something teenagery? And here are some chocolates for you to eat while you're doing your teenagery things. Uh, uh thank you, Great Aunt Greta. I see you've got a special spinner. Eh? Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, Dad gave it to me. Doesn't work, though. Let me see. <laughs> see? It works. Wow, that is so cool. You're really good at it. Well, I didn't win the Teesside Tornado Special Spinners Championship for nothing, you know. In those days, girls weren't allowed to enter the competition. Really? So, what did you do? Well, I just bundled my hair up under a cap and went for it. <laughs> I don't think our Lady Gideantus had ever seen anything like it. <laughs> I bet they hadn't. Just because you're a girl, Henrietta, doesn't mean you can't be a special spinner too. Oh, uh, thank you, Great Aunt Greta. Come on, I'll teach you a few tricks before tea time. Cool. So easy. Oh, there you are, Henry. Money first. Oh, uh, yes. And it only works if you say you believe in weird werewolves. Oh, yes, I do believe in weird werewolves. This tastes like chocolate milk. Uh, well, of course it does. You wouldn't want to drink it if it tasted horrible, would you? Oh, no. Oops. <laughs> hmm, it's a full moon tonight. So? When you know anything, that's when you're most likely to turn into a weird werewolf. I'm so happy I'm not going to turn into a weird werewolf. Hmm. What is it, Henry? Oh, dear. I'm not sure the fangal juice is working. What? What do you mean? Your hair's getting curlier. Oh, no! What are we going to do now? Wait. Ah, here it is. If there is a full moon and the fangal juice hasn't worked, then whatever happens, you must try to stay awake. Whatever you do, don't go to sleep tonight! Oh, no! Peter, what are you doing up at this time of night? I can't sleep. Can I watch TV with you? Oh, it's way past your bedtime, sweetie love. And you've got school tomorrow. But I'm scared. Will you read me a story? All right, sleepyhead. Let's climb the wooden stairs to Bedfordshire. And so the little Red Riding Hood set off through the forest. But she hadn't gone far when she met the big bad wolf. I've changed my mind, Dad. I don't want a bedtime story, thank you very much. Oh, all right then. Ready to go to sleep now, Poppet? Yes, I, I mean, no. I, I mean, I don't know. Dad, are there such things as weird werewolves? Weird werewolves? Of course not, Peter. Though I did see a really scary film once. Beware the moon. Good night, Dad! Henry? What is it, oh hairy one? Don't call me that! All right, then. What do you want, oh one with just a bit more hair than usual? Will you come and stay awake all night with me? I'm scared on my own. But I was asleep. Please, Henry. Oh, all right, then. But we're going to need lots of supplies if we're going to stay awake all night. What sort of supplies, Henry? The tickly treat sort. Mum's got loads hidden in the back of the cupboard in the kitchen. You just have to go and get them. Me? But what if I get caught? Do you want me to stay awake with you or not? Yes. Then off you go. I'll make sure you get them all. <sighs> what do we do now, Henry? I'm going back to bed. But it's still night time, Henry. You promised you'd stay awake with me. Is the moon still full, Peter? Yes, it is. Well, it won't be for much longer. Look, it's nearly morning. You'll be fine. All right, then. See you in the morning, Henry. Henry? Henry, is that you? 
Oh, Peter, I forgot to ask you something. But, Henry, you... Can I borrow your curse of the mummy kit? Take it! Thanks, Peter. Right, you know it. E so easy being me, I'm hard, Henry. Sid, uh, I mean, Mr. Soggington, did he say what I should wear? Yes, overalls. Overalls? Overalls? Well, overalls it is then. <laughs> oh, a miss? Yes, Henry? He said he'd see you there. Where? I don't know. The gym cupboard, I think. The gym cupboard? Ooh. The gym cupboard restaurant. Oh, how romantic. I'm not getting a good feeling about this. Not good at all. Henry, did you deliver my message to Mr Soggington? Um, yes, miss. And what did he say? Um, he said to meet him at the gym cupboard and that he'd like to try a new restaurant. Oh, and to wear overalls. Overalls? How odd. What was that all about? Not really sure. Old Ombud told me to tell Soggy Sid to meet her after school. And now it's got all mixed up with restaurants and gym cupboards and overalls and Miss Battleaxe. All sounds perfectly clear to me. Uh, yes. So who can tell me what is eight times seven? Henry? Um, 87. Well, the answer I was looking for was 56. <laughs> but why not 87? That's close enough. Well done, Henry. Right. Ten laps round the field. Aww. Off you go, girls. Maybe you lads would like to play football instead. Henry? I've been thinking. Uh-oh. No, no, seriously. Old Battleaxe and Soggy Sid are being seriously weird. Too right. They're being seriously nice to us. That's what I mean. Seriously weird. And I think I've worked out why. Why? Well, Old Battleaxe thinks the message about the restaurant was for her. Yeah. But it was really for Miss Oddbod. Yeah. And Miss Oddbod thinks the message about tidying the gym cupboard was for her. Yeah. But it was really for Miss Battleaxe. Yeah. Oh, I see. Uh, no, I don't. What are you talking about, Ralph? I'm talking about you being in serious trouble when Soggy Sig finds out that Miss Battleaxe thinks she's meeting him in a new restaurant when he thinks she's going to be helping him tidy up the gym cupboard. You're going to make sure that Miss Battleaxe meets Soggy Sid in a restaurant and that Miss Oddbod gets the gym cupboard tidied up. And how am I going to do that? Leave it to me, Henry. Oh, but what about Miss Oddbod? Where does she fit into all this? Mm, well, I haven't figured that bit out yet. I'm going to be in so much trouble. Don't worry. I've got it covered. What a mess. Right. Tidy the gym cupboard. Do you want to get out of trouble or not? <gasps> ah, all done. All by myself. Thanks for helping me, Ralph. Oh. You've been busy too. Quick! Someone's coming! We've got to hide! Mr Soggington, are you in here? Oh, Ralph, whatever are you doing here? yoo -hoo, Mr Soggington! Oh, Miss Oddbud! And Ralph too! So easy being me, come on! Control plane? A plane? I had one when I was a boy. Let's see if I can remember how to make one. Really? Oh, yes. I used to make them all the time when I was a kid. Ta da! Well, that was.
worked. Oh, but thanks, Dad. For nothing. Why do I have to come shopping with you? Should have brought Peter. He loves going shopping with you. And he also loves happy hippos. And it's his turn to watch them this afternoon. So stop moaning, Henry, and hurry up. Well, it's just not fair. Oh, look. I'm a lady has got a sail on. Stay here, Henry. I'll just pop in for a quick look. Won't be long. Look! How cool is that? Oh, and how expensive. Oh, I'll never be able to afford one of those. Not in a million years. Huh. Trust mischievous Mike to get his hands on one. Eureka! That's it! Mike, wait! Yeah? I need your plane. It's an emergency. What are you talking about? I need it to, uh, uh, to rescue a cat that's been stuck in a tree. Oh, all right then. Can I just borrow it? Just for a day? Half a day? An hour then? I'll swap it for anything you want. Hmm. You still got your gross class zero comic collection? All of them? Including the Super Bumper Smilly Snotfield edition when Sam Snotfield defeated the evil Emperor three times. Oh, yeah, definitely got that one. It's a deal then. One hour only, but you'd better look after it. Oh, I will. Nothing's going to happen to it. Don't you worry. Phew, that's a lot of comics. Awesome. So cool! Remember, Henry, you better look after it. I will! Yeah! 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 Woo hey! Come in, Squadron Leader! Climb to 30,000 feet! Roger that control! The sky's the limit! Yeah! Hey! I say! You! you? Boy, no flying in this park. Uh oh. We better take our plane somewhere else. <laughs> Come on, Steve. Let's go. <laughs> You, Henry? Yah? My way! You scared? Yah? You're on. Start here, yah? Through the woods. The fountain. Across the buttercup meadow. Finish with a fly through this tree trunk, yah? Uh, are you sure that's a good idea? Oh, yah! I knew you'd check it out. No, I'm just worried about your plane. Mine will be fine. On your marks, get set, go! <laughs> oh, watch where you're flying, that thing. <laughs> so easy being me, I'm hard That was funny. Beats walking. And we saved eight minutes. Hooray! Have a good day, boys. You're nice and early. Move over, worm! It's gross class zero time! Hey! I was watching that! At least I was going to. Telly time's over. Check your timetable. It's bedtime now. It's only half past seven. We've got an early start in the morning. Ooh, then we do need an early night. Worm. There, didn't I tell you? So much better than rushing around all the time. Mm. No one was late for school and there were no fights or arguments. <sighs> in a few weeks' time, this will be our normal routine. A few weeks? Of course. Today was just the start. If we cut down on talking, it could save a whole five minutes. 
we're still reading. Reading time, seven and a half minutes. It's on your timetable. Henry, it's sleepy time. I'm not sleepy. We've got an early start tomorrow. It's on our timetables. <laughs> timetables? It's worse than being at school. At least we weren't late today. We were there before the teachers. Listen, Peter, do you like having only five minutes to watch TV? Well, I did miss Happy Hippos. And I didn't even have time to draw Miss Lovely a picture. That's what I'm saying. We don't get time for anything. It's wash, eat, clean teeth, go to bed. But what can we do? Dad says it's good for us. <laughs> we'll see about that. Henry? <laughs> Morning! <sighs> what time is it? It's five o'clock in the morning. Listen, I've been thinking and I've decided time management is a brilliant idea. Oh, you have? Yes. But you see, we're not doing it properly. We could save even more time if we did it properly. We could. It's all on your new timetables. 5.05 morning run? But it's 5.05 .05 now. Exactly. <sighs> How much longer? Just one more lap. <sighs> one more. Can't we rest? I feel great. <laughs> so do I. Come on, Dad. No time to lose. Oh. Breakfast time. Oh, good. I need a coffee. I need something stronger. Oh, I've already made breakfast. You have? What's this? It's an all-in-one breakfast. Cereal, milk, tea, egg, toast and jam. All mixed up together. <sighs> Saves time. Come on now, eat up. Get a move on. You've got ten seconds. Ten, nine, eight. <sighs> hmm, two minutes twenty. Not bad, but I think you can do better. Sorry, Henry. All ready to go then. But it's only 5.45. I'll be way too early for work. Not if you walk. Walk? But it's miles. Walking's good for you. And it's good for the environment too. Hmm. Think of all the petrol you'll save. So easy being me. I'm I'll turn the rope very slowly. Well, OK, then. To start with. <laughs> oh, Bossy Bill! I can't let him see me skipping! Oh, look, Great Aggressor! Uh, pterodactyl! What was that? That was a pterodactyl. <laughs> a pterodactyl? You mad old lady. Oh, yes. It was definitely a pterodactyl. Did you see it go? Uh, uh, come on, Bill. Uh, we've got an appointment with uh, your school headmaster. Phew! That was close. It's all right, Henrietta. You can come out now. Well, I can't say I blame you for trying to avoid that horrid boy. Now, let's see you jump, Henrietta. <sighs> Now let's try it a little bit 
bit faster, shall we? This is actually quite fun! Whoa! <laughs> Isn't this fun, Henrietta? Like a little dog. Yes, thank you, Nick. Talking of dogs, where's Vittle Wagner? <laughs> uh, I think I found him. I didn't mean to land on Vittle Wagner, honest. Oh, I shouldn't worry about that, Henrietta. He'll be right as rain once they've got his paw out of his ear. Hmm. <laughs> This lemonade's really nice, Great Old Greta. Time for a rock kick? No, thanks. Not just yet, Great Old Greta. My, my. Look at the time. Time flies when you're having fun, eh, Henrietta? <laughs> Shall we go, then? Not so fast, Henrietta. There's something we haven't done yet. What's that? Your skipping lesson. My skipping lesson? <laughs> I give up. That's my girl. Well then, legs lift and sideways jump and up, down and all around. So easy being me, I'm Never mind, Henry, there's still time. Oh, boys, uh, been flicking boogies, have you? <laughs> Afraid not, sir. Hey? Still looks like a big bogey. I can't wait to take my bogus and Beatalorius into school tomorrow. Miss Lovely will be so proud of me. And I'm so proud of you too, Peter. I wonder why it's called a bogus and Beatalorius. It's called a bogus and Beatalorius because it's not really a beetle. No, it's a bogey. Henry keeps calling my bogus and Beatalorius a bogey. Henry, any more comments about bogeys and you'll go straight to your room. <laughs> Mum, I can smell something burning. <gasps> oh, your tea! What's wrong with bogeys anyway? They're not nice, Henry. <laughs> You are not going to show that to anyone, Henry. That is going straight into the bin. Eureka! Oh. That's it! That's what, Henry? None of your business, worm. Come on, Peter. Time for Betty Boys. Bogey. Yeah, that's a booger bogey. Uh, 
How do we know it's your booga bogey, Henry? Of course it's mine! Whose else could it be? It's mine, Henry! Don't know what you're talking about, worm! I'm talking about my bogusum beetalarius, which you stole! Ah, it's like alive! It's, it's moving! It is alive! Did you say it was your bogey, Peter? I said it was my bogusum beetalarius, which is why I'm taking it for my show and tell right now! You should think twice before you steal someone's bogus and beetalarius, Henry. Let this be a lesson to you. <laughs> Whoa! Respect! Huh. Who is the king of the booga bogies now? Oh, Henry's wormy little brother. That's who. <laughs> <laughs> It was really bad. Everyone was laughing at me. So easy being me. I'm hard, Henry. Hey, this is going to be so hard. <laughs> Game of football, Brian? No, I'm off to the library. Even I'm worried about this homework, Henry. Well, aren't you going to give me a hard time too, bogey brain? Huh? You talking to me, Snot Slime? Yeah. How much do you know about interglycogenetics? Quite a lot, actually. Huh? You mean, it's, it's really a subject? Yes. And it just so happens that my dad's best friend is the head of the Institute of Interglycogenetics. Really? Yeah, really. And it just so happens that he's coming to our house for dinner tonight. So I am sorted. Um, how about that game of football, Ralph? Uh, yeah. All right then. Did I just imagine all that? Glycogenetics. It'd be my pleasure, Margaret. Interglycogenetics is a groundbreaking new area of research that started only 20 years ago. Can you believe I'm doing this? I'm not leader of the Purple Hand Gang for nothing, you know. And here's something else that no one else knows. Scientists have discovered that if you multiply the number of genes by the number of times you sneeze in a millisecond, you'll be able to... How fascinating. Um, would you like some more sprouts? Yeah, oh, uh, thank you. So then I blah, 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 blah. And so that's where we've got to so far. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Reckon I've got enough to please old Battleaxe. So, would you like me to tell you what our plans are for the future? So, uh, I see you have all done your homework. <laughs> Including you, Henry. Yes, miss. And here's something else that no one else knows. Scientists have discovered that if you multiply the number of genes by the number of times you sneeze in a millisecond, you'll be able to... Uh... <laughs> well, it's hard to be impressed after all this time, Henry. But what I will say is that you seem to have avoided a triple detention <laughs> for once. Ah, Margaret, let's see what you've come up with. 
And here's something else that no one else knows. Scientists have discovered that if you multiply... Margaret, what have you to say for yourself? You appear to have copied Henry's homework. Quite unbelievable in the circumstances. No buts, Margaret. It's all here in black and white. <laughs> Looks like it's a triple detention for you, bogey brain. <sighs> However, I have decided not to give you a triple detention, Margaret. Huh? Instead, you will attend a three-hour talk. You what? Three hours? To be given by the head of the Institute of Interglycogenetics this afternoon. No. Easy being me, I'm What happened next? Well, as you can imagine, I was so worried about my little brother. Really, Henry? Were you really worried about him? Or could you really not wait to tell everyone else what had happened? me and Peter had together. So, Henry, what exactly does all this have to do with your homework? Say goodbye. Yes, 
Do you remember that we said that we would come back to Earth and we would do the dance together and then you would go away and leave us in peace? So easy being me, I'm Are you saying we can't go on there? Why not? Uh, I don't know. It's lunchtime. Bert, aren't you going to have any lunch? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Come on, we've got to hurry! Hey, Bert, enjoy the stew. Hang on a minute. If Bert's going to lunch, then who's guarding the climbing frame? I don't know. <laughs> This time, it's personal. This is just a small setback, leader of the Purple Hand Gang. Look! The climbing frame is here. The girls have viewpoints from here, here and here. But there's a small gap here, which leaves them vulnerable to attack. Then let's do it. Get going! Hey! Boy! Come back with that you horrible little boy! A mix of skunk, cowpat, and sweaty socks. If this doesn't shift them, nothing will. I love the smell of stink bombs in the playground. <laughs> Don't you just love the smell of perfume in the playground, Henry? Yeah, Henry. Frame if it's the last thing I do, you mealy old maggot! <laughs> oh, this is so much fun! We all love the climbing frame! It's just for us! Yeah, just for us. Time to give up, Henry? Never! Then come and see what Brian's got in store for the enemy next, Lord High Majesty of the Purple Hand Gang! Your beatbox? What are you going to do? Dance with them? Um, I've made just a few adjustments. 1,000 gigawatts of power, super subwoofer, bone-crushing bass and a treble range that only animals can hear. This is no ordinary beatbox. This is the 500 decibel sonic defence system. The Desi Sonic what? It goes all the way up to 11. Listen to this! This is brilliant! What? So easy being me, I'm hard and mm, And you've just reminded me that I'm never going to win a million pounds because I lost my... I know, Henry. Lost your ticket. Ooh, just think of all the things you could do with a million pounds. I hereby declare the perfect Peter Paddling Pool open. Yay! Yay! 
you can help me find my ticket if you like, Peter. No, thanks. Actually, I'm a bit busy now. Just think. One million pounds. Hmm. What will you give me if I find your lost ticket? As I'm such a kind, generous brother. One whole pound. One pound? OK, two. Two pounds? All right, then three, but that's my final offer. We'd better hurry up. The ludicrously lucky lottery draw is in ten minutes. What? Yes, it's always on at the same time. Coming up after the break, who will be the ludicrously lucky winner of our ludicrously lucky lottery? to go. Ticket, Henry. Of course I didn't find the ticket, Peter. So, is it in your pocket, Henry? No, it's not. I looked in my pocket. What's that, then? It's my ticket. And now, the moment you're all waiting for. The draw for tonight's ludicrously lucky lottery. And the chance to win one million pounds. <gasps> That's my one million pounds! Three of it is my... Henry. And the first lucky number is... Famous Five. Famous Five? Oh, I've got it! Next up is... A Secret Seven. Secret Seven! Yes, yes, yes! And Naughty Nine. Naughty Nine! That's it! I won! I won a million pounds! Next up is Wonderful One. And tidy too. Uh, I've only got three numbers on my ticket. Stupid, useless ticket. 